we're going to work on sit up guard okay different options from sit up guard different different um, like there's going to be different things I can do based on his response so I'm going to first paint the first scenario you guys know from a self defense perspective I have to stay back here my up kicks my growing shots and my knee shots right but in competition I don't really want to do this if I you know kind of disengage and stay back here it's not very good for competition for self defense it's great um, however, if it's MMA or self-defense, I can stay back here and quickly come up to a single, right, to work the position, right? I don't recommend it, but it's one of those options. For competition, I actually want to kind of keep my posture and my position kind of angled. So if you can see his lead legs with his right, so he has a big strength to pass to his left, my right, and so I'm going to guard my left because he doesn't have a good strategy to go to this side. And the reason being is because he can shoot forward this way. He can't really shoot forward this way. So here, think of it, if, if I had 10 soldiers, I'm splitting them five and five, right? Well, if he had 10 soldiers, he's splitting them really like nine to one, nine going to this side. So why would I split up my defense over his strong offense? I would kind of counter it and go this way. If he switches his stance, then I switch my stance as well. All right, so we're in this position. We're going to engage the sit-up sweep. I don't have my geese, so it's going to be a lot of no-gi grips. First thing I'm going to do is reach over, stay super tight. This hand I'm going to try to keep away to buy me time so I can get my foot over to his thigh like this. And I'm going to connect my hands this way. All right, the first option, whether he steps over or not, I'm going to use this sit-up guard because remember, I have the old option where I can go to my basic technical stand-up and come up for the single leg. But sometimes that, even that's a scramble and it takes a lot of energy. So I'm going to use this leg pushing him away. Whether he steps over or not, I'm going to engage this shin right behind his butt, right? And I'm going to make sure that I go flat, just like this. See what he did? Now I'm going to come back up. But as I come back up, I'm going to grab that tricep and stay right here. If I'm far away, I'm OK here. Just be careful not to leave my leg behind his legs. He can roll for a leg lock. Exactly. So come back up, please. <laughs> so as I'm here, look, I'm going to step to the outside. So now it's a lot harder for him to finish that leg lock. Okay, if I want to work the takedown, I can, or I can start working my back take from here. So again, we have our sit up guard. I engage, I keep that away, right? I don't really get my head too tight because then he can guillotine me. Look, I'm good. even if he steps over, I cross my legs and bump. Do you see how I bump him this way? Now I come back up to my elbow. If I'm able to catch the tricep, even better. If not, I come up, stay to the outside, and start working my back take. Right, I can bring him, drill him to the ground, get the back from here, get my hooks from on top while I get the double unders. Those are my options. So first position this is the first scenario. We're going to talk about when it's not easy to do this position. Okay, any questions, guys? All right, let's do it. One, two, three.